Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking another a look at another starship I managed to get through a T6X coupon. Well, T6 coupon, you get the idea. The Achilles Glass. A starship that is from Dominion Wars. A game I have never played, so I have no nostalgia for. But am of the distinct opinion that this ship could have used a little bit of work instead of just being a straight clone. We'll get into that later. The Achilles class, as taken from the description of Dominion Wars, was named so to take advantage of the Achilles heel of Ketracel White, and was apparently designed after the destruction of the U.S.'s Odyssey. I can name so many things wrong with that little lore blurb, so I'm going to correct it. This ship was designed to face off against multiple Dominion vessels, most notably the bug ships, though she could most certainly hold her own against much larger targets, like Dominion battle cruisers. Especially with her hex cannons. Basically, two more cannons from the Defiance 3. 4. With a slim targeting profile, she has all the firepower of a galaxy in a frame that is more or less just a squished up version of the Intrepid. Which brings us to the design of this thing. Why did they couldn't tack on some proto inquiry elements, could they? No, I'm serious here. They couldn't give hints that this ship would lead to the inquiry, could they? Hell, they couldn't even bring themselves to include this as part of the inquiry Avenger family, could they? Oh, boy. Missed opportunity. Instead, they straight-ported it from, apparently, just Dominion Wars, and then made a new model from it. Though I am of the suspicion that they might have done something a little different. For those familiar with Star Trek Bridge Commander, you know that there's a mod called Kobayashi Maru which includes the Achilles, which suspiciously looks a lot like the model we see here in STO. I'm not making any real accusations, but I suppose it has to be said. I've had a little bit of fun with this thing off on another tune, so... Let's take a look at her. Five forward, two aft, an experimental weapon slot, which has the hex cannons, meaning you could potentially put these things on anything, including the Defiant. As if that thing doesn't need any more guns mounted to it. Two engineering consoles for science, Five tactical with the uh, this ridiculous thing micro quantum torpedo phalanx array. Hi, I have VLS and HLS tubes. I'm going to swarm you with micro quantum torpedoes. Have fun. In this case, it's a little downgraded. It only fires ten of the damn things but they do a lot of damage regardless. As for her starship trait, angle on the bow, well, more shield penetration for projectiles, which means someone, which means torpedoes just got a little more viable. As for her layout, obviously very tactical biased. Lieutenant Commander Universal Miracle Worker, Lieutenant Universal. 
Lieutenant, com well, Commander Miracle Worker Tactical, Lieutenant Commander Tactical, and one Ensign Science. I highly suspect that some pe I highly suspect a good build here would be either an engineering and a science, or a science and an engineering. You know, just to make sure this thing doesn't explode. Because let's be honest, she is a glass cannon. She was described as a heavy cruiser in Dominion Wars, but here they've kind of downgraded it. But then again, it's an MMO. You could make a f tiny little NX-class starship turn into nightmare fuel of the highest caliber. Which I suppose can be said to be a compliment. But then again, I am more of a fan of... Well... The Starfleet Command Way, where... They all ha have their roles to play. Miniature, small escort craft, big dreadnoughts, cruiser class vessels, battle cruisers, which are fast and can destroy anything they can't uh, run and outrun anything they can't outfight. But still, STO is still fun. That said, there is something that's not going to be fun. And that's the last ship in this vid. In this little series. That's right. I even got that one. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.